Welcome to Prenatal with Mary Louise. I'm here with Harriet, who is due to give her baby any time. <laughs> Maybe even me after this video. <laughs> We're going to share with you um, something we practice in class called Do In. It's often called the EFT or body tapping. And it's wonderful because it works on all of the meridians. So I'm going to ask Harriet to start with just gently tapping her head. So all over the pineal and pituitary glands, so the front of the skull to the back of the skull, just gentle taps. You don't have to tap very hard. And then to the forehead and then around her eyebrows. So from the insides of the eyebrows, just little butterfly flecks around the eyebrows. Now we know this is a major pressure point and it's one that releases stress. So you may like to have a little size, Harriet, as you tap around your eyes. Ah, just letting go of any tension, any fear that may have been picked up. And just gently tapping around those eye sockets. And then come to the jaw and massage between the upper and lower jaw. We know during labour a lot of women clench their teeth. And this is also a major stress point for everyone really. So if you open your mouth, Harriet, so that you can just make sure that lower jaw is relaxed from the upper jaw. That's it, beautiful. And then another little technique we know that releases stress is tapping between the bottom lip and the chin. Just tapping and as you tap here you say to yourself, I'm willing to release all stress in my body. I'm willing to release all stress in my body. And then we're going to come down to a really important pressure point, And this is the thymus gland. It's located just behind the sternum. And the thymus gland is responsible for your immune system. And when you're pregnant, that's you and your baby. When you have your baby, you pass on this immunity through your breast milk. So we're tapping this thymus gland. It's a little bit like Tarzan. We're going to make sound as we tap the thymus glands. So we're going to do a lovely big on breathing in. Um, and as Harriet continues tapping her thymus gland, I'm going to ask her to say internally, I have a strong immune system to protect my baby and I. I have a strong immune system to protect my baby and I. Great. And then give your arms a nice shake. And we're going to tap up the right arm from the very tip of the fingers up the arm, which is the lung heart meridian, and then turn that arm over to the small intestine, large intestine meridian. So again, the lung and the heart on the inside, the small intestine, large intestine on the outside. And then the next time we come up the inside, right up into the shoulder, and hold on to your elbow there, Harriet, so you can push a little bit further into the trapezius muscle. Just give that shoulder a little bit of release. And then coming back down, switching over to the other side, up the lung and the heart meridian on the other arm and the small intestine, large intestine. Now we have 72,000 meridians, or nadis we call them in yoga throughout the body. We're just working on some of the major ones here, which we know are going to help you in uh, your pregnancy. Back up into the shoulder now, tapping into the trapezius muscle. And then little flicks around the back of the neck, the shoulders, and give the arms another little shake. Great. And then we're going to give baby a little rub. So rubbing down the left side of the belly, down near the pubic bone and up the right. So what we're doing, we're following the descending colon, the transverse and the ascending colon. So yes, you're giving baby a rub, but you're actually massaging your own descending colon, transverse, ascending colon. Now this is a beautiful baby massage technique, probably the first one you need to know because it helps to relieve baby with wind and colic. And it's not if your baby gets wind and colic, it's when they get it because they need to adjust from sipping amniotic fluid to breast milk or formula milk. So Harriet, we're going to change that now to two little fingers, just two fingers massaging around. And this is the way you'll massage your baby's belly. Tiny little circles all the way around. Good, and then give your own belly a little rub again. So if you're suffering from indigestion, nausea, this is also a good massage to do for yourself. And then the second baby massage is just stroking the hands up from the pubic bone toward the breastbone, folding the hands over, beautiful to do after baby's had a bath. Just giving them that little massage is lovely. Lovely, give your arms another little shake there. And then we're going to release the legs, so hands under the knees, release your legs. Give your ankles a little rotation. So we know during labor and also more during pregnancy, the buildup of fluid retention in the ankles can cause a lot of problems. So we want to keep the ankles nice and loose and the wrists as well, Harriet, is good. And then we'll dorsiflex the feet and point them away, dorsiflex and point away. 
and then bend your knees and we're going to tap down the outside, the inside and the back of the leg. This is the bladder, gallbladder, liver and spleen meridian. And then over to the other leg, gently the bladder, gallbladder, liver and spleen meridian. And there are some pressure points here that we can use um, to help progress your, um, your uterus, if you like. So how it's 39 weeks, you will not touch this press until, point until you're at least 39 weeks. She's going to massage her heel. This is the uterus point, and it can be quite sensitive. Do not massage this point if you are not 39 weeks or 40 weeks, because it can bring on labour. So just gently, and Harriet wants to have this baby, so she's happy to massage this point. And we'll move over to the other foot as well, Harriet, just massaging into this point. There are some other pressure points specific to labour that help deal with pain relief. There are photographs of these points on the prenatal Facebook page that I can share with you if you're not already a member of it. So I won't go through all of those now. I will just show you one more, which is on the hand. So coming back to cross leg position, we're pressing in between the thumb and the index finger. This is called the Palace of Anxiety. And we just breathe beautiful breath out. You can see Harriet already went into a release of the breath there when she pressed that point. And we'll go over to the other hand. The Palace of Anxiety, so a lovely one when you're feeling stressed or in pain, we press that point there. Lovely, give the hands a little flick again. And now we're going to lean over to the right and just give the sciatic nerve a little pummel. So pummeling into your buttock, doesn't matter which side you go. Use the pointy end of your knuckles. This is working into the sciatic nerve and we're loosening up all of the buttocks there. Now girls, if your hips and buttocks are growing, they've done research on pregnant women and babies. The, um, the natural flesh that's put onto a woman's hips and buttocks helps with brain development for the baby. So smile at all of this added weight that you're putting on around there, it's a good thing. Okay, let's go over to the other side and tap into the other buttock, that sciatic point. And if you're particularly suffering from sciatica, you can go a little bit deeper here. So Harriet, I'll get you to use your thumb now and just dig around and you'll find some very sensitive points there. And your job is to press into that sensitive point. We're going to practice using the deep diaphragmatic breath. So Harriet, imagine breathing in through that nose, down through your arm and through your thumb like a hose and help release that pressure in that sciatic point. And then give it another little pummel. Good. And that finishes that segment.